shave on you. And when I'm doing the shave, I'm going to walk you through your shave. Okay, good. And, and give you a quick little lesson on shaving. What type of shaving uh, gear do you use? I use a, a, a triple blade. Again, marketing, I'm sure. Well, a triple isn't too bad. At least uh, you're not into five. That's right. <laughs> okay, so and the shave. So that's what you use as, as the tools and what you're using, that's right? right. Yes. Okay. So, have you ever tried a, uh, a double edge? Yes, I have. You have? Yeah. And what happened? Uh, Closer shade? A um, lot more work? A lot more work. A lot more work. It's probably the, the biggest the issue. Biggest, the yeah. biggest issue with it? Yeah. Okay. So, Jack, did we practice prior to it? Never. Okay. So, there's the key word, practice. Yeah. Okay? Practice without a blade in it. Okay, so there are three types of shades. Your triple, your double edge, and your straight razor. Yeah. The straight razor will give you the, the, the finest. finest shave, the double edge close to, okay. and then the, the triple will be the lesser. Interesting. Okay? Right. So those are the three types of shades. So if Jack were to know how to use all three, so when you take your wife out and we're going to that special <laughs> event, and we want to look absolutely on top of it because we're shaving this morning and we're going to the event at 6 o'clock. Yeah. I don't have time to go back home right. and reshave and make myself presentable for this big function that I'm going to with my wife, right? So that's when you would either pull out your straight razor and take the time to shave real closely or your double-edged razor and shave real closely. and. At the end of the day, you're ready for your wife. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Makes sense. Okay, so now we're going to go home because we do have that tool and practice doing the double edge by pulling the blade out and working and manipulating the tool. Okay, so this is your tool. Okay, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay, so are you a dragger or are you a slider? With the look on your face, you're a dragger. Okay, by that I mean, oh. is you're taking this tool and you're pushing it yeah, like this, right? Dragger, okay, yeah. so you're a dragger. So let's visualize this. This is your skin, mm -hmm. and this is your hair follicles, right? Yeah. So let's take that tool and go tum 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 tum. Chop it. Yeah. Okay, we're coming down on this like this, right? Straight down. So what's happening to the blade? It's bending. Yeah. Okay. So it's bending, so you're going to lose the edge. Okay. You can't strop this thing, right? No. Okay, so how are you going to straighten out the blade? You can't. You can't. Yeah. All right. So this is what we're going to do. In order to get 20% more shaves out of this blade, all right, we're going to slide it. Ah, interesting. Okay? But again, what was the key word? Practice. Practice. Yeah. You take the blade out and practice how to manipulate this thing up and down. And you, and you get the feel of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It doesn't matter which way even underneath you. It's always a spine. Always a spine. Yeah. And just practice till you it's get an real. angular yeah, sort of Right. It's an angular. Okay. Visualize. Slicing your face. Up. Right. Visualize this being a loaf of bread. If you were to take yeah. a, a blade and hit it in the middle, the, bla the, the bread would fold, right? Right. But if you take that same blade and slice it, you're going to cut through it. Gotcha. Okay. Right? Okay, you got a very quick lesson. Shaving. So you understand a little basics of it. Okay.